He is the parent counsel of Pine Glen Public School in the town of Huntsville, Steve Spencer. Thank you for coming in. Thanks, Mel. Uh, no problem. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy to have you. And the reason why I'm happy to have you in is uh, uh, last year the school hosted an amazing event. And uh, of course, again, as I said, I'm happy to say that it's going to happen this year. <laughs> Dine at the Pine. So for before we get on to this year, um, let's talk about uh, the success of last year and, and um, the initiative behind Dine at the Pine and why it was so successful. Well, last year we was to come up with like a fundraiser to beat all fundraisers. Mm -hmm. And we ended up raising about $10,000 last year, which we bought a like rear projection uh, HD screen for the gym and a state-of-the-art sound system. Uh, we're putting a new sign up up front of the school which will have like a LED readout, that kind of thing for events and that. So, and a lot of other things that we get for the kids. So, so this is a really great uh, fundraiser. Um, it, it's the parents are so involved with the school, all schools, of course, but in particular to uh, Pine Glen, um, they want to get involved uh, and you as chair want to be able to raise funds to give the kids the best that they can at the school, right? Correct. Yeah. Okay. When we're a small group, mighty group, but small. <laughs> so let's let's talk about uh, this year's Dine at the Pine. I first of all love the name. I can't I can't stop saying it. It just works so well. Um, so what what can we expect uh, this year for anybody that's watching? Right so this now? year we have uh, Deerhurst and Chef David Baker, and they're providing the three course gourmet meal. Ooh. And then Whims Whimsical Bakery is doing the dessert course for us. And so we have. Uh, this yeah, yeah, no problem. Oh, sorry. Grant Nichols is our host, mm -hmm. and that's bring with Hunters Bay Radio. They're bringing in like their music showcase, like they did last year. So, and then we've also got the idea of Cirque de la Soirée this year. So we have Theodore Arcturus coming in with the uh, Chat Trog Chapman on stilts and the Aerial Girls, and yeah, so it should be great. So why do you think? Uh, I mean, last year, as I said, was really uh, successful. Why do you think uh, that was? And I mean, this seems to be even better and bigger than last yeah. year as well. So uh, talk about the success of this type of fundraiser. I, I haven't seen something like this before. Yeah, well, last year it was we came up with a Fumino Muskoka's first pop-up restaurant. Okay. And, and I think it's just a unique event that people really took to it. Uh, like 60% of the tickets went to people have nothing to do with school. So, and we sold out in under two weeks. We can only put 200 in there. It's like, that's the max for the gym. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. And I think the students, um, they uh, kind of find a sense of pride in it too, mm -hmm. because if I remember correctly, the students were involved. Yeah, in they're some servers and they also help like stage manage and all, all the other little tasks. So it's great to see they did an amazing job last year. Mm -hmm. Like I was surprised there was no broken dishes or anything like that. So. <laughs> You know, you don't have to tell them don't eat the food on the way out. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, so last year you raised ten thousand dollars, and it went to you know some great initiatives throughout the schools and equipment uh, throughout the school and equipment. Mm -hmm. um, do you have a particular goal this year? Um, it's a few things actually. We, they want a scoreboard for the gym. Okay, right. Um, yeah, you mentioned. Yeah. We haven't decided if it's going to be a full like mounted on the wall or if it's going to be a portable one that they can use outside. Also, uh, we also need more playground equipment. Just playground. Improvement is always the goal. So what's regardless. the cost associated with that? So what do you oh, have a ballpark as to what you want to raise in order to afford? I mean, I would like to raise a million dollars. I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> so, um, it, we, we're still pricing out some of these things. Okay. So I mean, there's other stuff like the shed for the kindergarten because they have all their little bikes and equipment. They need somewhere to put it or else it ends up in the school. So, mm -hmm. yeah, but there's a whole variety of things that we're, we're going after this year. So. Of course, yeah. every every uh, penny helps and every exactly. little bit helps and, and it would be great. I to mean, get and it's ongoing operation Absolutely. costs throughout the year. So, I mean, if all well, we need a gazebo for track and field, we'll go buy a gazebo, you know, portable water jugs, mm -hmm. you know, all these little things. So, yeah. Okay. So, um, a big thing, when is it happening? Um, and how can people get more information and tickets? So it's February 23rd okay. and it's 6 to 10 p.m. And it will be assigned seating this year. So you don't have to rush to get there. Mm. <laughs> so, um, you can get tickets at dineatthepine.com. Okay. And all the information's there about the event, so. Perfect, yeah. assigned seating, that's good. So is there like a, a due date as to when you want people to RSVP by? Uh, well, they just go in, they buy a ticket, and then we just, we, we suggest that people buy tickets together under oh, a name okay. so that we know you all want to sit together. So. Okay, But perfect. there is a comments thing on the order that they can put in. I want to.